Shalom, brothers and sisters. So, again, this morning, I would like to encourage you once again. This race feels like it's never ending. It really does, especially for all of us awake and watching. We've been waiting for this race to end for the last few years. And here we are, running. Many of us tired, many of us feeble at times, many of us feeling we can't take another step. And yet, we have brothers and sisters that come alongside and encourage us and strengthen us and put their, your arm around their shoulders and say, come, we can do this. We can run. And I am here to encourage you. The race is almost run. I want to read to you from Joshua chapter 1, and we're going to be looking at verse 8 and verse 9 specifically. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. But you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. We can't just say we're believers and expect God to do the rest. We are believers. We are saved and redeemed, not by works, by His grace. He has done everything, but we get up and follow Him, His way. He is the way, not the suggestion. He is the truth, not an option. He is the life, the only life. We need to study to show ourselves approved, to learn more, to become more like Christ, to strive to please Him. This should be our integral focus day and night because the more time you spend in the Word of God, the less time the enemy has to infiltrate, to lead you astray, to take you by the side and pull you one way into darkness. No, this strengthens you, makes your way prosperous, gives you good success guides you in what the Lord wants you to know, gets you to learn to listen to that still, small voice, especially in the times when we need it the most. Verse 9, Have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you. Wherever you go. Now we've discussed this before when we covered the first part of Jonah and we'll continue with that book. No matter where I go, to the heights of heaven or the depths of hell, there he goes with me. He never leaves my side. He is constantly with me. When you feel that he is furthest from you, he is most probably carrying you. He is walking right by your side, just waiting for you to have that penny drop moment. That my God is with me wherever I go. Now, it says be strong and of good courage. Be strong is the Hebrew word kazak. Now, kazak, strongs 2388. Courageous, valiant, strengthened, established. We are established by Christ. Firm, fortified, mighty. Generally. The words strong or strengthen define Kazakh, but there's a wide range of meanings. It occurs 300 times in the Old Testament, and it also means to encourage. As when David encouraged himself, he literally made himself strong in the Lord. 1 Samuel 30 verse 6. six. Kazakh is the root of several Hebrew names, including Hezekiah meaning strengthened by Yahweh. So Kazakh, that be strong, be encouraged. When I encourage you, when you encourage one another with these words, you are making each other strong, strong like Hezekiah, as in Yahweh has strengthened me. And how does Yahweh strengthen you? Because he is with you, even to the end of the age. And heads up, spoiler alert, this 
is the end of the age. We are seeing it take place in front of our eyes and all the more reason to look around and strengthen, encourage one another as we run this final stretch into our Heavenly Father's arms. Never to let go again. Shalom.